Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Pasternak. I get calls every day from owners who are confused about the best care for their pets with an ACL tear. Hopefully, this short video will help in making this difficult decision about which procedure is best. Sadly, ligament tears in pets' knees are quite common. Pets stand with their knees slightly bent, so there is more constant strain on the cruciate ligament in a dog's knees than in humans' knees. An ACL tear, also known in veterinary medicine as CCL tear, is a painful knee injury. Tearing this ligament causes instability in the knee joint that allows an abnormal motion, leading to debilitating arthritis over time. This is called a cranial drawer motion as it mimics opening a drawer. Here at Helping Hands, we fix the torn ligament by simply replacing it with a new one. This is called the lateral suture technique. It's also known as the tightrope or extracapsular repair. Currently, there are three different procedures to repair an ACL tear, the lateral suture technique, the TPLO, and the TTA. Anytime there are three different ways to do anything, it's because not one of them is the best, or the best way would be the only way. The good news is they all work and have good success rates as long as you follow proper post-op care. Hopefully this video will help you in making this difficult choice. The way we at Helping Hands repair ACL tears by lateral suture technique was the only way ACL tears were repaired for decades. It can be performed on all sizes and ages of pets. It is performed by replacing the torn ligament with a false ligament on the outside of the joint to mimic the cruciate ligament and eliminate the cranial drawer motion. Here's an example of a knee with the black as the original cruciate ligament and the blue is the false ligament, the lateral suture. However, if your pet tore the ligament it was born with, it could also tear the new false one. It was for this reason that newer techniques were developed to minimize this risk. The TPLO and the TTA involve cutting, rotating, and steel plating the bones with the joint to stop the abnormal motion, thus stabilizing the knee and eliminating the need for a cruciate ligament. Steel plates, however, are very expensive and they take more time to implant, thus part of the reason for the huge difference in price. There are risks with any procedure, but with the lateral suture technique, the implant could tear if they move in the same way that caused the original one to tear, needing a second surgery. The larger the dog, the more weight is being put on the knee joint. The younger the dog, the more active it is likely to be. So if you have that large, super active pup that will not slow down, or you simply want to reduce the risk of them re-tearing the false implant, then the TPLO or the TTA may be the way to go. If you have a large active dog and cannot afford the TPLO or the TTA, the lateral suture will still work very well. We do it successfully every day. You simply have to work just a little harder at keeping your pet a bit more calm. The surgery itself is the easy part. The challenging part will fall on you to keep your pet somewhat quiet and still for six to eight weeks post-op. The first two weeks require crate rest. A crate is the only way to ensure no jarring, jumping, or pushing off motions from occurring. After two weeks of crate rest, four to six more weeks of rest is still required in the house. This means no exercise or off-leash activity. After two weeks, we want your pet up and moving so the muscles do not shrink, but we want this activity to be slow and under control. Remember, just because a pet is on a leash, they can still jump and place jarring forces on their knees. Be sure your pet has good support and restraint during this period. The post-op care required is the same no matter which procedure you choose. The surgery is the easy part. You get the hard part of the job, recovery. Keeping a pet at rest for six to eight weeks can be challenging, but worth it to prevent a lifetime of debilitating arthritis. We perform the lateral suture technique on a regular basis with great success on all sizes and ages of pets. I know having choices is good, but it can also make the decision for what is best challenging. Feel free to give us a call if you have any other questions. Thank you.